Hi everyone. Now we are going to discussing about portable water treatment process in food industry. Why we call it as a portable water? Can we call it as a drinking water treatment in food process industry? But there is no difference between portable and drinking water. Drinking water means which is meant for exclusively for drinking whereas portable water portable means drinkable edible portable water is not only meant for drinking but also used to wash the food contact surfaces but also used to wash the food contact utensils and it also used as an ingredient while preparing the food so that's why it's a portable water now in this video especially i am focusing on uh, junior technologists a trainee technologists who started their career in food industry so now let us start the video hi this is manmad krishna you're watching manmad krishna food tech channel i made this video in a very simplest way to understand junior technologists as well as trainee technologists before going to the details let us have a as you all knows the rain water is soft nature no hardness but how the water turns to hard yes once the rainfall occurs the water percolates into the deeper part of the earth crust the earth crust contains limestone the limestone contains ions like calcium ions magnesium ions sodium ions etc which will dissolve in the water so automatically the ground water will become hard so this kind of hardness is called temporary hardness water having two hardnesses of two types one is temporary hardness then second one is permanent hardness the temporary hardness means the water contains carbonates of calcium and magnesium ions is called temporary hardness the permanent hardness water contains chlorides and sulfates of calcium or magnesium ions calcium sulfates or calcium chlorides magnesium sulfates or magnesium chlorides now the earth crust contains the ground water the borewell water contains 95 to 99 percent temporary hardness only temporary hardness you know by traditional method we can remove the temporary hardness because if you can eat the water the calcium ions or magnesium ions which are present in the water can precipitate so after precipitation if we can filter the water we will get the pure water why i am telling these things we should know the basic knowledge about the water and mineral contents which are present in the water portable water treatment process in food industry mainly uh, five stages the first one is the screening process and the second one is sedimentation process third one is filtration process fourth one is ion exchange process and fifth one is disinfection process yes let us have a look if our water sources is surface water then screening will plays a crucial role because surface water contains macro particles floating agents lot of waste debris also can be filtered by screening so the screening will help us to remove the macro particles which are in the surface water but yes the borewell water screening methods not much applicable now the second stage is sedimentation process either it is a surface water or borewell water we must have the sump yes sedimentation process also will plays the crucial role yeah the water contains dissolved minerals and suspended solids also there total suspended solids so the suspended solids we have to settle down because the sedimentation process so once we collect the water from the surface either surface sources or from the borewell sources let the water kept for idle 
for two to three hours in the sump tank. What are the suspended particles which are present in the water? Like silt, sand, clay particles and other dirt particles. The particles which are denser than the water which will settle down to the bottom if you left the sump tank for two to three hours idle. After two to three hours, once the suspended particles will settle down the bottom, we have to take the supernatant water for further process. So this will play the crucial role because water contains lot of suspended particles. We can easily remove because which will settle down the bottom. In screening process, floating impurities etc can be removed. In sedimentation process, suspended particles are removed by keeping the water undisturbed for few hours in a deep tank or in a sump tank. In filtration process, our sand filter or activated carbon filter, the colloidal particles are removed. In disinfection process, microbes are killed, removed. Now we'll discuss in details. In sand filter, the sand filter is the main purpose of the sand filter is it will remove the macro particles. It will remove the impurities from the water because water contains manganese and iron in dissolved state. The purpose is it will remove the debris and other larger particles can be filtered and suspended particulate matter also can be trapped out. And sand filters is frequently used to treat the ground water. Yes, because the ground water contains dissolved iron and manganese. So the sand filter contains fine sands and coarse sands and fables. So fine sands, then coarse sand is bigger than the fine sands, then bottom the fables. So this is the sand filter. So once the water, <coughs> once the water falls on the sand filter, then the water goes through the fine, fine sand and then the coarse sand and then the fables. So the manganese or iron will be filtered by the sand. Carbon filter. What is the process of carbon filtration? It's a method of filtering that uses a bed of activated carbon to remove impurities from a fluid using adsorption. The activated carbon filters are small pieces of carbon, typically in granular or powdered form, black form, treated with extremely porous surface. So the carbon filters contains activated carbon. So the activated carbon is extremely porous which have vast surface area enables carbon filters to adsorb the impurities, to adsorb the contaminants which are present in the water. To adsorb the contaminants. Like organic compounds in water, if organic compounds are present in the water, the water taste will vary. The carbon filters, the activated carbon filters, due to their porous nature, due to their vast surface area, it will react with the organic compounds which are present in the water. And finally, it will remove the unpleasant taste and odors. The carbon filter finally will remove the unpleasant taste and water. And what about the softener? Means resin, especially in food industry and beverages industry, especially cationic based resins are extensively used. Resin, how the resin will remove hardness in water? Softener removes hardness by ion exchange process. So the hardness, you know, the water 
how why the water becomes hard because the water contains calcium or magnesium calcium carbonates or magnesium carbonates in the molecular form in the ion exchange process mostly the food industries and beverages industries are using cationic based resin in softener the resin beds are typically porous providing large surface area the trapping of ions occurs along with the accompanying release of other ions thus the process is called ion exchange process so the water contains solution when the water passes through the resin bed so the resin bed or solution calcium magnesium will migrate to the activated sites of the resin bed and will replace the sodium so this is how we can control the we can remove the hardness in the water that's all about my part 1 video if you like the video subscribe my channel and stay tuned for regular updates